Today we're going to take a look at how to change the font style for headers. In this example I'm using a sheet list where I have a drawing list that's going to be broken up into the drawing series. Let's take a look at the settings for my schedule. For sorting and grouping I'm sorting by a custom parameter view group series and I've turned on headers for that particular parameter. Under appearance the schedule title, header and body text all have their own text styles and have been activated accordingly. The problem we have with Revit is that when we activate headers, the font style for headers is the same as body text. Therefore, to be able to change the text style, we have to do some custom formatting to the schedule. We can do this by utilizing the custom tools here in the appearance tab on the contextual ribbon. When we select our schedule, we are able to change the shading, borders, font, and the hor horizontal and vertical uh, alignments. So today, to change that header, the first place we're going to go to is the appearance tab. Under the Appearance tab under Body Text, I'm going to set my font style to be what I want my header font to be. In this case, I've set up a Schedule Header font style. When I make the change, you'll notice that the body text has changed as well. Once we've made the change to the body text, we're going to override the entire schedule using the formatting tools. The unique thing about the formatting tools is that they don't affect headers. I'm going to select font and I'm going to change my font size to 2 and untick bold. You can see now that there is a difference between the header font style and the body text style. To complete my changes to the font styles I'm also going to change the headers text. Even though the header text has been configured in the Appearance tab, we have just overridden it when we change the text to the um, schedule. The reason we had to do this was because when we select only the individual cells for the body text, the Appearance tab is greyed out. Therefore, to change the body text, we do have to select the entire schedule. Once we've changed the font for the entire schedule, we can now override the font style for these particular headers. To do that, we'll simply click Reset. By clicking Reset, it now takes on the font style that's been utilized in the Appearance tab. I'll change my alignment back to left, and I'll remove my borders. Finally, you'll notice that the size of the blank line space that's been set is slightly larger. The reason this is larger is because my header text is also increased in size. You may decide for appearances that you no longer need the blank line. In this case, under sorting and grouping, I'm going to untick the blank line. And you can see that now, because there is a clear difference between the header font style and the body text style, that the schedule is still easy to read. I hope this helps get your schedules looking the way you wish want them to be. Thanks for watching.